kilometers in length and had 10 railway stations. In 1983, Taiping Shan was designated a forest recreation area. Situated at an altitude of 2,000 meters on the slopes of Nanhu and Sanshin Mountains at the northern end of the Central Mountain Range, the recreation area is shrouded in mist for much of the year. The appearance of Taiping Shan changes through the seasons. A splash of red, a patch of green, a white emptiness. The color palette is constantly shifting. The Lodong Forest District Office has carefully added pathways and other facilities to the forest without disturbing this subtle tapestry of colors, allowing visitors to enjoy the mountains and streams of this area with minimal impact on the natural scenery. Traveling alongside the broad expanse of the Lanyang River, you arrive at Tuchang. This used to be the starting point of the Taiping Shan Forest Railway. It was a busy transshipment center for the timber taken from the mountain. Lumber workers had to carry their equipment up the mountain using a combination of cable car and narrow gauge railway. Today, there is a bus that takes a road directly from the ticket gate along the Duowang Creek. Partially hidden by mist and lush vegetation, the Jiujirzi Hot Springs attract visitors eager to wash off the dust of city life. This weak alkali carbonated spring, with its clear spring water, is particularly suited to outdoor bathing. There are also fun diversions, such as a trough where eggs can be boiled using volcanic heat. The hiking trails on the far side of Jiujia Bridge are excellent for a revitalizing walk. As Taiping Shan Road increases in altitude, visitors can see changes in the environment. In the past, the only way up was by cable car, which carried lumber as well as workers and their families. At around 800 meters, at the head of the Jiujirzi Trail, there is now a tourist information center with a multimedia introduction to the natural environment of Taiping Shan. you can still see vestiges of the cable car and narrow gauge rail, reminding visitors of how difficult the journey up the mountain used to be. On clear days, the panorama from the hiking trails takes in the majestic sight of the Xueshan mountain range. Seen from the Cuifeng Scenic Trail, the Taiping Shan Villa complex, perched at 2,000 meters, looks like a mountain city in the clouds. Here, visitors can get a taste of mountain life, and along the 496 steps of the complex's central staircase can enjoy the vibrant colors of the red leaf Japanese maple, which keeps its color from spring until its leaves fall at the beginning of winter. Only a few decades ago, Taiping Shan was an isolated community of lumber workers with little connection to the outside world. Along the central staircase, you can still see reminders of the settlement's history. The Japanese-style hostel has been converted into an archive that preserves the history of the area. At the top of the central staircase is the Junan Temple. It was built as a Japanese-style shrine but has been rededicated to Koshinga. This is Taiwan's most accessible area of primeval forest. We can learn about the religious practices of the logging community, enjoy the Taiping Shan poetry walk, and take in the poetic beauty of the surroundings, 
all in a 30-minute stroll along a well-paved pathway. For those who enjoy hiking, the Chinese Hemlock Nature Trail provides a challenge. The air here is particularly sweet, and the lingering mists create scene after scene that seems to have come right out of a painting. The Yunhai Coffee House is now in the building that once housed the railway station. Inhale the rich fragrance of the coffee on the mountain as the mist roils and rolls like an ocean below. This is an environment that enables the use of all your senses. You can also ride the train on a journey back in time. In addition to carrying timber, this used to be the main means of transport in Taiping Shan, and many old residents still remember the hours spent riding this train. Lanxing is now the final station on the line. From here, there is a path that follows the route the rails once took. It climbs gently up through the forests of Taiwan Cypress, Taiwan Red Cypress, and Japanese Cedar. Occasionally, the path opens out onto observation decks, from which you can enjoy many of the delightful views Taiping Shan offers. The Fern Garden, located just below Maoxing Station, looks like something straight out of Jurassic Park. The path leading down through the thick foliage is somewhat challenging, but is full of the sounds of birds and insects. The moisture rises from the ground and cools the air, and the water of the Sanjie Falls sprays out like white silk into the air. The Tsuifeng Scenic Path follows the route of the Sanxing branch of the logging railway. Along this route, you can see the Taiping Shan Villa complex and the ocean of clouds filling the mountain valleys below. The path has been designed using the principles of scenic ecological engineering. The path meanders up to Tsuifeng Lake, Taiwan's largest high mountain lake. Tsuifeng Lake covers 25 hectares, and on bright days, the mountains around it and the clouds above are reflected in its clear water. On misty days, it is shrouded in mystery. Tsuifeng Lake is full of magical changes depending on the season, and a visit to the lake is like walking into a landscape painting that is forever being redrawn. In early summer, the blooming Digitalis purpurea adds a wash of pastel color to the mountain scene. Visitors can camp on the shore of Tsuifeng Lake if they want to spend a little more time away from the bustle of the city. The magnificent sight of the sunrise over the lake is a sight not to be missed. Radiating out from Tsuifeng Lake are many hiking trails demanding varying levels of fitness. Viewing the sunrise from the Pingyuan Nature Trail or the Wangyang Shan Trail is a special gift given to early risers. Both trails have viewing platforms that provide expansive views of the headwaters of the Nanao Beishi. The pure forest of beach that covers the Tongshan Ridge is a rarely seen remnant from the last ice age. In early spring, the buds appear, and in summer, these buds spread out into lush green foliage. With the arrival of autumn, the forest turns golden, and even after the leaves fall in winter, there is a stark beauty to the exposed white trunks and branches. This forest covers an area of 900 hectares, the largest pure forest of its kind in Taiwan. It is also the southernmost distribution of beech trees, so for any season in subtropical Taiwan, this forest is always a wonder of nature. With its mountain trails and lush greenery, the forest's complexity strongly attracts visitors. 
The Taiping Shan National Forest Recreation Area is a richly diverse habitat that supports life in many shapes and sizes, all of which are engaged in a ceaseless struggle for survival. The battle rages to and fro through the seasons, providing an endlessly fascinating spectacle. が狩りをして生活していた地区です。ここ一帯の森林、鬱蒼と茂る林木を原住民たちはみんなおと呼びました。日本人の台湾統治時代、台湾檜の木や紅檜の木などを生産し、希少な木材の産地として有名な太平山